Hi everybody, Joel Ledlow, Evolution JKD. I've got a short that demonstrates a very simple progression for progressive indirect attack, how to train that. Here's how you work it with a simple jab, but you can see it, but I need you to understand it. And when you understand, then you can begin to explore more fully during your own training. And that's the whole point of these videos is for you to get more out of this. Today is about progressive indirect attack. So progressive indirect attack. We have a target. We have a beginning point of our tool. It could be your punch. It could be your kick, whatever it is. You are going to go hit the target. Yay, I win. Simple direct or simple angle attack. I win. Attack by combination. You can do that. Now, the progressive indirect attack is actually what I always call the big brother or big sister to attack by draw because you are drawing a defense or a reaction. This is the target. This is the beginning point of the hit. When you attack, this is the part where they are going to read your attack. Back here, closer to them, is where they are going to defend. Now, in this, we have, right? So this is the defense zone, this is the read zone. What is this zone right in here? This is the react zone, right? That's where they are going to launch that counter, okay? That means they are going to commit to this defense, whatever it is. Why is that important? Because that helps us get sneaky. I like being sneaky because then you punch people and they don't know why. You have here, you have your target. I go here, they have read the punch. Yes! They are launching this defense for here, except somewhere in here, and this is the part where you need to go and play with it, Somewhere in here, maybe this point, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one. You should try all of them. Your attack goes around. And it hits the target. And it goes around it. In the short, I show a simple jab into a hook. Timing and distancing are everything with this. Throw your speed away. Throw your, your power away. Throw your long arms away. If you cannot do this slowly with just changing the timing means you haven't gotten it yet. When you can do it with just the timing at a slow speed, it's really freaking cool because it's crazy how well it works. And you should be on both sides of it so you can experience like, oh crap, that totally does work. I got punched in the face. I didn't even, I tried to defend. I read it, I reacted, and I still got hit. You need to understand it. This is part of the process, getting into your, your classroom, getting on the floor and working with your training partners. That's the other part of it. Here's a big one. If you start here and you go this way, they have read your punch, right? In this zone, they are going to react. And here's where they're going to defend. And that's the target. If you continue around, they're stuck with this defense. If, however, you retract, then they get a chance to reread it. So this pulling back to then go is not what we want. Because if you retract here, look, it's not quite as far, but if they're really good, they might get a little bit of a chance in there. That's still in the read zone, isn't it? So if you go back into their read zone, they can reread it, react, and then put up a new defense over here. Really important that progressive indirect goes progressively. It's kind of in the name, progressively. I need to go progressively. This is not what we mean by that. We are progressing at all times toward the target. This 
is not progressively. I'm going away. This is not progressing towards the target. This is going the wrong direction. This is going the wrong direction. This is going the wrong direction. So everything we do has to go progressively towards the target. Start here, go. Let them read it. Find out what that reaction zone is when they're going to deploy, mentally deploy, there's my parry in this zone. And it's gonna vary from person to person. So you gotta play, come around. You could also do round to straight. That's progressively still. That one's a little bit trickier. If you're really beginning on this and you haven't practiced a lot with it, I would really recommend starting with a jab into a hook. Look at the short I have on progressive and direct. It's going to help you out a lot. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Let me know about it. I love getting that conversation going. So if you have questions about this or there's something else you would like to see, let me know in the comments. And if you really dig this, share it with your friends, let them know about it. And then the most important thing for all of this is go play, go explore, take what you learn here, go use it to help yourself get better. That's what we're really after is everybody just becoming a better version of themselves. Until next time, I'm Joel.